Ahoy mates, I'm Bob Barp and I'm Turkitty, yeah! And welcome back to Goodbye the Bonia. We and we're back at the tutorial. <laughs> Uh-huh. Ouch. Hmm? Hmm. Huh? This is what have happened at the introduction of every game. Huh. An egg? There's a power inverter, some things. Huh. <laughs> there was more than the eyes were were seen. Huh? Hmm. Okay, um... Where did I have to go? Where did I... Oh, come on. Hmm. 
Yeah, and... And now? What did I have to do? <sighs> I'm stupid. I forgot I had the power inverter. So now I can press the button, finally. <laughs> um. Okay, there are a couple of achievements here. Ground Dog Day. <laughs> for not failing and Darwin award for failing and a little curiosity here in Italy uh, this year actually 2016 there was do you know the TV show Ciao Darwin there were Darwin awards and this game is maybe four or five years old talking about predictions <laughs> okay uh, the first two maybe were right uh, <laughs> let's just try Ah! <laughs> 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 mm, almost I have to get through in one piece. <laughs> but how would I do that? Maybe like this? I don't remember. <laughs> and Ground Dog Take is a reference to the movie with Mi Bill Murray, of course. Ah! And there was a remake in Italy of that movie. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. Oh! Perfect! Work towards the light. It's only an illuminated button. Huh. Ah, this isn't hell after all. It's some kind of factory, and a crappy one at that. <laughs> Could this mean that I'm not dead after all? Can somebody explain what's going on? Maybe there's someone in the next screen. The hey, Grim Reaper! You. Yeah, of course. Stop! Wait! Don't move! I demand some answers! It's the Grim Reaper. Oh, rats. Ooh. Any egg here? Yep. What am I supposed to do with this? It's empty. End of story. Wow, no more thinking in thing. F thinking. Tinkering. Think. Ah. Tinkering. Thinking.
Wow. Oh, I can't believe it. He's bolted the door from the outside, but that's not going to stop. Wow. This isn't going to make it any tastier. <laughs> Genius. Oils well that ends well. Okay. Doesn't look like a water mill to me. If this is the kitchen, I must be in hell. Al's kitchen. If this is the kitchen, if this is the I'm sure I could open the door with this, but that would be too easy. Not brutal enough. Of course. I'm sure I could open the door with this, but that... I'm sure I... But that... I'm sure I could... But that... <sighs> okay. Okay, I can't walk through this thing. Time to clock out yet? What? Time to clock out yet? <laughs> oh, it's just one obstacle after another. <laughs> Come on, give me something. Huh. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't take the butt. Very good. So now I've got me a junk ball back. Next, I'm going to use it to get some answers. <laughs> Door, meet Rufus! <laughs> hey! Hello! Quit playing games with me! Oh, I've got company! How nice! Everything <laughs> is nice here! I'm the dead oh, one! Alive again? Isn't that fantastic? No, it's not! I should be dead! Come! yourself. How about a cup of peppermint tea? It's relaxing and refreshes your breath. There's nothing better when you've only just come back from the dead. I don't want <laughs> peppermint. I want answers. Where am I? Welcome to my humble abode. You live here? Nice place, huh? This uh. used to be the facility where the Organon was created. A clone factory, in fact. A yeah. clone like factory. A processing plant. Uh, actually, that's what it is. You need plenty of organic material in order to clone people. <laughs> You're telling me... We have the clones now. ...consists of biological waste? I'd be a little less condescending if I were you. Prototype R. Proto what? 
Who the crap are you? My name is Hermes. I used to be the head of this clone facility. You huh. gotta be incredibly old. Technically speaking, I've only lived for two days. Oh, it's a clone. On a regular basis. <laughs> Keeps me young. But my genes are old. The intervals keep getting shorter. Why don't you just die? Why would I want to? I feel absolutely fine. That's not what you look like. Why can't you just accept it? Your life has run its course. On the contrary, I'm in top shape. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, uh, could you, for a moment? No. Thank you. Now, where was I? You're amazingly fit. Ah, yes, exactly. <gasps> As a fiddle. Why didn't you let me die? You were dead, strictly speaking. I cloned your mortal remains. Yeah, but why? I deserve to be dead. Don't be so hard on yourself. No one should be dead on a beautiful day like this. Yeah, Isn't sure a of it. Day? I screwed it all up. Whoa, got a bit of a guilt complex, have we? No matter what you've done, get over it. Life goes on. <laughs> You call this life? This isn't life. This is a cheap copy of life. A counterfeit. An artificially created imitation. Oh, nothing here is artificial. All my clones are made from organically grown materials. <laughs> you found the ingredients in the garbage? Biological waste. Organic. 100% natural. Oh, except for the nucleic acid. That is wow. synthesized from radioactive sludge. Oh yeah, prototype yourself. I didn't mean to offend you, Rufus. You, you, you know my name? <laughs> of course I do. I'm the one who gave it to you. Wh what are you saying? I admit it's not the most creative name I ever came up with. You're one of a series of prototypes that predated the mass production of the Organon. Only three of them survived. Prototype A, Prototype C, and you. Prototype Argus, Cletus, and Rufus. Argus and Cletus and R, as in Rufus, exactly. The only Latin names. I thought I could tell you apart by the color of your hair, but I never managed to create hair colors that lasted beyond puberty. Unfortunately, that wasn't the only flaw. All the prototypes had problems before I came up with the right composition. The clones were designed as dispensable workers, so I took away your respect for life. Unfortunately, that also meant that many of you were not afraid of death. There were various accidents. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Rufus. How many times you almost died? It's not true. Yes, it is. But it can't be. I'm not like the Organons. I never claimed you were. It's true that your genes are almost identical. You have no respect for life, but you have one thing that they lack completely. Sex appeal. <laughs> Hope. Hope. Yeah. And sex appeal, right? <laughs> I'm not like Cletus or Argus. Of course not. Cletus originally had green hair. Like Jacksepticeye. But I wasn't thinking of <laughs> care. <laughs> They're conniving back. Wait a second. I totally Cletus was Jacksepticeye. But I'm Argus was They're PewDiePie evil. and Rufus and Markiplier. That is too wonderful for just Stop right there, Rufus. Rufus, you're not identical because you are much more than just the sum of your genes. All your experiences, all your memories add up to form the person you are today. You mean we once were completely identical? Only I was capable of learning from my failures? Yes, that's it. Well, close enough, at least. In your case, the gene for learning from your failures wasn't rendered correctly. <laughs> it's true. Wait. If I'm a clone, wouldn't I have to be very young now? A surprisingly good question. I see those containers over there. In them, I simulate the natural process of aging. So you can choose the age of your clones? Exactly. Then why do you look like shit? Uh, don't be so rude. <laughs> okay, I'm a clone, right? So why am I still wearing the same coat? 
seriously? Oh, not a clothes business again. I create life for crying out loud. You should think wow. would be totally astounded by that fact. But no, everyone always asks about the outfit. Oh, well, excuse me. Okay, if I'm a clone, why do I remember everything? Oh, you're paying attention. Of course I'm paying attention. That wasn't really intended in your design, but... No, <laughs> simple. I can use a full body scanner like this one to create and save a copy of your entire neural network. In those cloning chambers over there, the newly formed neural pathways are trimmed into the right shape by teeny tiny knives during the maturation process. The process resembles pruning a bonsai tree. The difference being, of course, that the brain is much more complex and it takes me a nanoseconds to cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, uh, sorry, what, what, what was that after, uh, intended in your design? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it was all for nothing. Deponia is lost. And so is gold. And it's all my fault. Whoa. Why carry on with this rotten life? Because there is still hope. Life goes on. Life goes, Life goes so on is the title of a game I want to play to clone all of Deponia on I'll the channel you, blind machine. No, no, Rufus, no. Rufus, Rufus, don't do that. Stop me if you can. Don't. Uh. Cut it out. Uh. Hey. Uh. Stop it! No! There! Ha ha ha! Your turn! What have you done? You destroyed everything! This means it was all for nothing! You've got it at last! You were right about everything, except for one little matter. It is all my fault. It was me who, way back when, believed that Deponia was no longer inhabitable, and I came up with the evacuation plan. I you. Elysium, and I created the Organon, and then, when I was done, I started to have second thoughts. I stayed behind on Deponia to look for a better solution. I had all the time in the world, and I messed it up. I have run out of time. I cannot make up for what I have done. I thought that I had deserved to live with my guilt. But even that concept turned out to be overly optimistic. Because where there is life, there is hope. So what I deserve is to die with my guilt. Um, what is going? Go on then. Shh. What? Yes, that, but, but, goal? Goal? What? How did she end up here? She's still dead. What did I expect? But Hermes was gonna do something about it. Don't tell me he was gonna... I really need to talk to him. It's not over till it's over. Wait, stop! It's too late, Rufus. You are right. There is no more hope. <sighs> no! Oh, crap. What do I do now? Um... I have to put organic matter. <laughs> What's that popular saying? Beggars can't be choosers? Ha! <laughs> I knew it. The protein gauge has risen, and so has the one for carbohydrates. Looks like they were roach eggs after all. Let's put well, some water. A little off to me. Yeah, I knew something was wrong with that stuff. 
The gauge for minerals rose along with the water gauge. Ah, who cares? I killed two birds with one stone. <laughs> nah, I should save the oil. There's not enough fat to reconstruct gold. Whoops. <laughs> Hope nobody tells her I said that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Uh, here goes nothing. <laughs> huh. The oil seems to count as fat. Lucky guess. So, those are Ryan. Still missing something. When is this time card? Huh. Someone's been doing some serious overtime. The shift started so long ago, the holes have closed up. What? Still too soon to clock off? Probably because the holes have closed up since the shift started. Um. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is an actual egg I have to take. Hey, little one, are you hungry? Don't do that. <laughs> I should consider working as a dietitian. <laughs> uh, can you punch this for me? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Don't do that. So <laughs> oh. Certainly not. Thank you very much. There are more than enough of these guys around already. Before I get myself another Hermes, I ought to use up the old ones. No way! I'm unique, more or less. <laughs> no way! I'm unique, more or less. <laughs> Congratulations! You set a new overtime record. To keep the memory of this grand moment forever fresh in your mind, you receive an amazing bonus garlic for garlic. garlic. You remember, especially in old age. And judging by your overtime, you must be as ancient as the hills. Enjoy your well-deserved leisure time. Garlic against the vampires. Hey, little one, are you hungry? Actually, uh, never mind. Eat this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
adorable. Poor platypus. Oh, in. it's totally rusted shot. Oh, it's just one obstacle after an. <laughs> Great. Go. It actually worked. This is incredible. Could it be that I have just discovered a way to make use of olives? <laughs> Wow. Is this all fat? And here's some more protein. Good thing there isn't a gauge for cholesterol. Oh. All the way through. I have to ooh, make them. This is going to be so yummy. <laughs> you know what they say, you are what you eat. Salt, the spice of life. <laughs> okay. Ah, swillow fizz, an essential nutritional staple. There were months when I lived on nothing else. <laughs> wow. And it is water. Okay. <laughs> the essential building blocks of life itself. Potatoes. Perfect. Um. Now what? I'll make an Hermes. One Hermes coming right up. Wait. <sighs> Don't. <sighs> this is nuts. But if you can notice, one of these three is broken. So I'll just make three clones. One of them has to survive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Wait for me? Oh, damn it! <laughs> oh, why don't you just let me go? <laughs> now you know how it feels. Yes, but what else do you want? You said so yourself. All is lost. That's what I thought, but then I found gold. What were you planning? Can she be saved? Oh, you know the girl? Yeah. She fell from the sky shortly after you. There was a spark of life left in her brain. The rest was pretty much smashed up, so I created a clone which survived long enough for me to perform a complete scan. Here, your lady friend can be cloned with this. Hmm. Even though I have no idea what good it would do. Deponia is lost. Yeah, just leave that to me. Hermes the Fired. Yeah. 
It fits like a French fry up a nose. Uh. All right, and in you go. I'm gonna save you, Gold. Um. What's happening now? The red I'm light. What are you doing? One guess. I'm saving Gold. But this won't work. There's Why? No nucleic acid left in the machine. So what? It worked for you. Quick, abort the process. The pipes are overheating. The whole thing's about to blow. No. Oh. Oh wow. Is that you? She failed to mature properly. That's because of the nucleic acid. Where is she now? That pipe leads into the sewers under Portofisco. I'm so sorry, Rufus, but it looks like your girlfriend is lost forever now. No, she's alive. I can still save her. You know, I've still got some nucleic acid left. In theory, you could still use it to mature her. But what about Deponia? The last high boat could take off for Elysium at any moment. You cannot save gold and reach the Ascension Customs at the same time. And even if you could... Can't we? The Upper Ascension Station houses the Organon's headquarters. You'll never make it in there by yourself. But I'm not just by myself. My resistance friends are in Port of Fisco. I'll get them to distract the Organon, while Gol and I sneak onto the high boat. And who's going to let them know? Who will save Gol? And who will prevent Argus from leaving on the high boat? Me, me, and me! Oh, there isn't enough time for that. There would have to be three of you. And even if you could, Hmm. Are you sure you really want to go through with this? There isn't enough biomass left in the chamber for three clones. This way, at least I can serve one final purpose. <laughs> You're the ultimate cool guy, Hermes. Let's not get sentimental. Have you got the nucleic acid? Nucleic acid? Check. Very good. Remember? It won't be cloned as well. Only one of the three of you will have it when the process is finished. Don't oh, worry. right. I understood everything. You can rely on me. Oh, I only hope your construction with the sandbags is going to work. If the lever isn't activated... It's going to work all right. It has to. In that case, let's not lose any time. Three, two, one. Here we go. The both of you. Okay. <laughs> oh no. Um <laughs> Thank you. Yep. What next? Um. One of you two needs to gather the rebels for a. <laughs> <laughs> you do it, huh? Why me? I'll head to the Organon headquarters and delay the high boat's launch. I said it first. No, I did. There's not. There is not going to work. It's not I'll going go to work. I'll go down to the sewers and rescue Gold. But that's my job. <coughs> oh, come on! <laughs> uh, this is getting ridiculous. There must be a way for us to agree, but you two are just too stubborn. I'll rescue Gold. I've got the nucleic acid. No, I've got it. But no, Hermes gave it to me. me. Why don't we have a look? So. Who's got the nucleic acid? Why don't you look to make sure? <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted when I pull the nucleic acid from my coat. <laughs> They'll be flabbergasted when I pull the nucleic acid from my coat. Why do we have to make it so difficult? So, who's got the nucleic acid? Why don't you look to make sure? One of those two halfwits has got the nucleic acid, but which one? One of those two halfwits, but which one? Oh, man. 
man, I wish I could look right through them somehow. Like, by means of a cool new interface element at the lower edge of the screen. <laughs> nope. Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! I guess this means I'll get to save goal. Not so fast. Hey! <sighs> Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Why won't that idiot let go? Why won't he help me? Hey! Ugh! Hey, stop that nonsense! Why won't that idiot let go? Why won't he help me? <laughs> it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. <laughs> it's the second mouse that gets the cheese. You mean... Hey! Ugh. Oh, no! <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> My stop. Wow, Rufus a clone? Wow, well, what do you know now? That's mind boggling news, but I'm sure you can cope. Just put on your slickers and hitch up your knickers. For once more, there flickers a speckle of hope. Where well, things do look black, you need someone to check. On the vibes at the tunnels and end if by half. It turns out to be a cloning lab. You can prep for a quantum step. Three times the reverse, three times the jab. Buzza, three times the crap. No, no, damn it, it's, it's <laughs> three times the <laughs> this is awesome. Is that you? Man, it's dark here. I guess it's cool. Who knows what sort of dangerous beasts are lurking in the dark? There was an achievement for vampire skis and Okay. <laughs> Oh, if I don't click the middle, ma mi the middle mouse button, there's an achievement. Master of Darkness here. Please be very, very quiet. After all, we must assume they're surrounded by evil people eating monsters. <laughs> <laughs> There's something growing there, some kind of moss or brush. Here we go. <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Gold! You'll wake up the dangerous beast! There's nothing in my pocket, okay. Something here. Uh, oh. Let's see whether I can feel something. Uh huh. There's a crevice in the rock. Here 
Here we go. <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Goal! You'll wake up the dangerous beast! Hmm. This is dry, long, and thin. No doubt about it. It's the plot of Secret Files Tunguska. What? <laughs> or low hanging branch. Either one. Here we go. <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Gold! You'll wake up the dangerous beast! Uh, her constant howling is putting us at risk. I have to get her to calm down somehow. Okay. <laughs> um. There's a crevice in the rock. Here we go. <laughs> Yikes! Not so loud, Goal. You'll wake up the dangerous beast. And the other Rufus is. Problem, Bozo dear. No, thank you, Mrs. Mook. Let the boy do his business in peace, woman. Oh, I thought he needed help. I'll manage. It's just you're afraid, aren't you, Sonny? Uh, yes. Of going party? No. Of the end of the world, you moron. No, no. It's just. Uh. uh... It doesn't matter. Don't even think about it! <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo! You weren't expecting that, were you? Boy, you've really got a lot of... Cheek. Hey! It wasn't exactly pleasant for me, either. What an ass. Listen to the music. I would look absolutely fabulous in this outfit, as long as nobody important is looking. Fire! Fire! I'm on my way! Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo, wee! -oo. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Look! Move! Oh, that is so cute! <laughs> Baby Bozo is playing with his cousin David's fireman's uniform! Nonsense, woman! That isn't Baby Bozo! It's a wandering hobo already! Oh! You're right! No, oh, I knew it was a mistake to cheat the optician at Bingo! Mm, yeah, okay, one more time. Hey! Hmm? Oh! Look! Move! Oh, baby Bozo is playing with his cousin Alex's ninja outfit! Nonsense, woman! It's just that hobo again! You think so? <laughs> well then, he's not getting a caffeine lollipop! <laughs> And is that really necessary? Uh, all right. Achievement. <laughs> hmm? Oh, look, Mook. No, oh, there's Baby Bozo. Twenty-five. Well, Baby Bozo, would you like another caffeine lollipop? You shouldn't give the baby caffeine lollipops, woman. He'll just take off again. All you ever do is complain, Luke. The child has to eat. How else will he get to be as big and strong as his brother? Oh, that's <laughs> his fault. I certainly hope the baby Bozo doesn't take after that whiny good for nothing. He should take a lesson from his cousins instead. At least they've done something with their lives. Don't listen yeah. to the old Ninja baby. and Fireman. 
You can have a caffeine lollipop from me. <laughs> wow, that was humiliating and enlightening at the same time. Kind of like my school days. I knew there was a reason I dropped out after the second grade. <laughs> May I bother you for a moment? Huh? Oh, look, Luke. It's baby. Oh, Bozo. come on. Nonsense, woman. That's not baby Bozo. It's just a stray hobo. Is it now? So why do I think it's baby Bozo? I don't know. Uh, excuse me. I hate to interrupt you, but uh, I'm not a hobo. See, Luke. I told you he's not a hobo. So back then you also said it's not gangrene. We could have saved that leg, you know. Poor Timmy. Uh. What are you doing here in the middle of a war zone? Don't you know what's going on around you? Are you still talking to that hobo woman? I'll talk to whoever I please. What does he want? He wants to know what's going on here. Well, tell him that nothing's happening here at all these days. At least not since the Argonauts were treated. You can tell him that yourself. I'm not your secretary, <laughs> you know. Is that the Bozo family's house over there? Why? Isn't this one good enough for you? It may have suffered a little grenade damage here and there, but it's still our home. Calm yourself, Mook. He's asking about the Bozos. Well, in that case, he's wrong here. They live next door. What? Do you know what's up with Bozo? Oh, so you're a friend of Bozo's? Nonsense, woman. Bozo would never be friends with some random hobo. <laughs> so like you, he has a handful of brain cells left. Even if he doesn't act apart at the moment. He's depressed, Mo. Oh, of course he is. He's got no job, no girlfriend. The world is coming to an end. He does not <laughs> have a girlfriend. Her name is Bambina, and she lives yeah. in the black market. She can't buy that to him, man. You do to me. I can surely understand why he moved back in with his folks. Yeah, I'm looking for the resistance camp. Tell him we're not buying anything. The young man is looking for something, Mook. And so he asks you of all people. You never know where you put anything. Wow. Yeah, at least I still have my manners. Oh, if you really had any manners, you'd take care of your guests. No, oh, the hobo. I almost forgot about him. <laughs> Tell him that if he absolutely must go around panhandling, he should try the resistance instead. Wow. Hey, he's just down the stairs and across the square after all. Those people at least know how to keep order. Do you even get what I'm saying? Five, right? Nonsense, woman. It's at least seven. <laughs> What do you know? You haven't got a clue what this is about. Then why don't you ask your good buddy, the hobo? He seems to have an answer for everything. Wow. Ah, rubbish. He's not even talking. That's because you won't let him get a word in edgewise. Look, he's trying to say something. Again. Ah, just forget it. This is too crazy, even for me. I'm leaving. You know... I think you were right, Mook. He was a hobo after all. That's what I said, woman. But you never listened. <laughs> wow. <to> me. <laughs> <In> the bag. <laughs> My dearest honey bunch, I wish you were here with me. <laughs> what a cheesy opening. That's gonna cost him some points in my online review. But <laughs> well, at least we're getting to some action next. Service at the front doesn't seem to be good for my health. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine, and in the next few seconds, I will... Aww. All my love, your Papa Bozo. P.S. Watch out for the mailman. I think he is secretly using our bath. At any rate, I found underwear with his name on it on top of the toilet tank. <clears throat> Bozo's family. Huh? What's going on here? Oh, look, Grandpa. We have visitors. Oh, then I better put on my pants, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. 
Are you a friend of Bozo? <laughs> Bozo doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I mean that gifted tinkerer he talks about. Yep, that's me, Rufus. Where is the old pirate? Pirate? That chump? <laughs> chump? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Bozo is upstairs in his bed, crying like a little girl. <laughs> Speaking of which, can somebody get me out of here for crying out loud? Wow, well, it's a. I think it's a parody of the lot of shows with a, a live audience. So. I'm stuck. Isn't that weird? <laughs> And you're really Bozo's grandpa? Wondered that for years, but my doctor refuses to conduct a grand paternity test. <laughs> so, you must be Bozo's mother, right? Mm, yes, again. His uh, aunt? His uh, wicked stepmother? Uh, a burglar? His parole officer? No, 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 no. His grandma, his food taster, his sister, <laughs> all of the above? Wait, uh, what was the second to last thing you said? His sister? <laughs> oh, Rufus, you sweet talker. <laughs> Why? I'm his mother, of course. What? But... But you're welcome to call me Mama. As in, <laughs> come to Mama. <laughs> What's wrong with Bozo? Oh, Rufus, I'm at my wit's end. He's been like a different person ever since he came back. The boy won't eat, he won't talk. <laughs> and not even his beloved Fifi Fairy Frill stories cheer him up. <laughs> <laughs> Fifi Fairy Frills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make Bozo well again. You're such a nice young man. I wish I had a son like you. <laughs> Do you know the way to the secret rebel camp? But of course, it's down the road, across the square, then straight on. The I secret rebel camp. Muffins for the young soldier. And then she uses them to lay a trail from the camp gate to our house. <laughs> Can you tell me something about Bozo? Of course. What would you like to know? Watch yourself, Rufus. Don't open that can of worms. <laughs> <laughs> what can? Oh, don't take him seriously. It's not a can. It's just a tin box where we keep the family photo. Get out of here, Rufus, before it's too late! <laughs> I didn't even know that Bozo grew up in Porto Fisco. Didn't he tell you anything? <laughs> no idea. Listening to him is so incredibly exhausting. Oh, <laughs> wobbly cheeks press on his jaw. He's stopped wearing his braces, hasn't he? Yeah, I'll go and remind him. <laughs> Every hour if I have to. <laughs> I had no idea that Bozo has a baby brother. He's the spitting image of Bozo. He sure is. And dribbling, too. That's because <laughs> all male Bozos have an exceptionally full head of hair. As soon as I start breastfeeding them, it grows like crazy. <laughs> Maybe you should use your breast milk as a... <clears throat> just, just a minute. What was the secret ingredient to your special shampoo again? Well, that's a secret. <laughs> I have no idea that Bozo had such a cool mother. Oh, Rufus, you flatterer. <laughs> you certainly know how to cheer up a grieving woman. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Bozo has a girlfriend? Really? Yes. Her name is Bambina. She owns a weapons shop in the floating black market. Did you hear that, Grandpa? Bozo has a little lady friend. What? 
that whip? I <laughs> only believe that when I say it. Yes. It's really hard to imagine. He's always been so shy. When I gave him the talk about the birds and the bees, he wouldn't leave the house without a beekeeper's hat for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> what was Bozo like as a child? There must be some embarrassing stories you could tell me. <laughs> Not really. He was a very good little boy. He never broke anything. And he took very good care of his Fifi Fairy Frills. Mm. And even when playing knights, he always insisted on being the princess. <laughs> Where's Bozo's father? Missing in action. I'm beside myself with worry. Aww. I'm glad I have so much support from friends who distract me from my grief. What friends would that be? The milkman, the plumber, or the mailman? <laughs> well, you know what they say. You don't leave your good friends hanging. <laughs> Maybe we should talk about something else. Mm, why not? After all, it's not every day that I get to enjoy the company of such a fit young man. Ooh. Now that the mailman is stuck in the window. <laughs> I thought that Port of Fisco was occupied by the Organon. So it was until recently. But under the command of the new general, the resistance has recaptured the city. New Um. Oh. <laughs> you haven't met the general then. No, I still didn't not. I know we had ranks. <laughs> <laughs> Can I stay for dinner? But of course, Rufus. Bozo's friends are always welcome here, especially when they look so scrumptious. <laughs> Just so we're on the same page, I'll sit at the table eating and not end up as a meat dish next to the salad. <laughs> right? <laughs> When's dinner? You need to ask Grandpa. <laughs> he promised to cook if Bozo ever brought home a friend. <laughs> You weren't listening. I said I will cook if Bozo ever brings home a girlfriend. Like that's ever gonna happen. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, let's talk later. You make yourself at home. Meanwhile, I'll dig out some photos from Bozo's ballet lesson. <laughs> <laughs> Gucci Gucci Goo! <laughs> <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, movie material! Do you want some lollipop? Like lollipop? Hey, who's throwing things at me? Hey, what was that anyway? Must be lying around here somewhere. Oh! Sweet! Whoa. <laughs> I would make such a great father. I wonder if there are any limits to my good nature. <sighs> huh? Where did he suddenly disappear to? <laughs> hey, that's not funny. There you are. Come on, bedtime's over. Rise and shine. Uh. Hey, oh. what's wrong with you? Oh. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> but we need to get to the rebel camp. You have to help me save the world, Bozo. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's all right, you old grouch. What have we here? <laughs> a doctor's referral to a therapist. Will you look at that? I've always known he's lost his marble. So now we have written proof. <laughs> Mail for Widow Bozo. Uh. Widow Bozo here. <laughs> you want to bet? <laughs> Rufus! <laughs> it's, a, it's, 
joke. <sighs> hey, where's the applause? That was a real side splitter. What's in the letter, Rufus? I'm not telling. I want the letter Why? back. What? Better not try that again. I want to spoil their mood. Whoa. Okay, let's see for a moment the third Rufus. Well, look at that! I landed right at the foot of the Upper Ascension Station, the site of the Organon headquarters, and the birth of the last high boat to Elysium. Need to be careful yeah. from now on. Well, more careful than usual. This place <laughs> is crawling with Organons. They're obviously withdrawing from the city. I wonder what they're planning. Maybe I can eavesdrop. Move! Hurry it up! There are still some crates that are bound for Elysium. No, not that one! It's supposed to go to the third intermediate level! Hmm. Yoo -hoo. Hello! Oh, rats. Nobody there. Hmm. Huh? There's something moving! Hello? Anybody there? No. Nope. Lousy spotlight has wrecked my whole plan. Until the guard is distracted, I better stay here in the shadows. What? What's that? And to conclude today's show, I have a very special treat for you. You all know him. You all love him. And here he is now with his current smash hit, Cowboy Dodo, with Look at Me. A solar-powered, illuminated sign. With a show called Look At Me. Under the version, Look At Me. You don't know what you want, where you stand. There's no plan except the one with the big old label goals for the future. Come what? You choose, the blade you cowboy you dodo? dodo. You're seeking expos, you say that's okay, man, for a suit you. Style of life, you're self-sufficient like a cop. I went for solo, never pull a thing off sofa. But if you did it beyond your own account, you never ask if I should skip every tutorial. Behind yeah. you, if you said yeah. 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 I like well, so far, amigo. What's off of your big ego? The only thing that's bugging me is every time that we go. Hey, what's up, bro? You go, why is it been more? I struck my luck. Why am I stuck in the muck while every jerk is worth the look if you never ask for help and suit yourself with L.I.B. Wanna yeah. know how it's been just look at me. Does it hurt to face the fact? Have your options track and check? Die and act a remedy, just look at me. Did you die yo, after squad group? Need your loot yo, before your people. Yo. Is it still too hard to see? Well, look at me. Yeah, I can't do anything. Call me Cowboy Dodo. Cowboy Dodo. <laughs> cowboy Dodo. Cowboy Dodo. Looking on is a Cowboy Dodo fan. Now that he's distracted, I just have to find an open crate. Preferably one that will be taken to Elysium, and then it's goodbye to Ponya. <laughs> Pity the gold is here. I shouldn't have left her fate in the hands of that stupid other Rufus. Same old story. If you want something done right, do it yourself. I got those up. Technically. <laughs> Get it open as oh, can't get it open. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that's going to Elysium instead. Darn! It's too small for me to hide. Oh, darn! It's secure. That's a waste of time. I should find. I should find it. That's a waste of time. I should find a crate that. Forget it. I have to run right through the guard line of sight. That's a waste. 
I should find it. Okay, I tried every crate. Oh. This is, uh, what? A pacifier? At least, it feels like a pacifier. Somewhat drooling and, uh, <laughs> oh, pacifier shaped. Take it! Here we go! There. That should shut her up for now. Here we go! <laughs> ha! Got it! Pretty. Huh. Here we go! <laughs> I got it! Okay... Here we go! <laughs> hmm, feels like there's more back there. I feel a draft, and the air is warm and moist. If I rub the stick in this crevice, I might be able to light a fire. All I need is a little kindling. There, the kindling is stuck in the crevice. And now... Hey, sure! I can light a fire this way! Solved it! Oh, okay. Is there anything I can't set on fire? Say something, Cole! Goal. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. Very funny. Just so you know, that was all part of the plan. And anyway, yeah, sure. We have more important things to do now. We have to find that what's it acid and, and turn you back into a real. Oh, I lost it. It's such a nice day outside, and I'm hanging out in the sewer. Once you're big again, I will never kill you, chop you in thirds, or turn you into an infant again. I promise. <laughs> oh, <Tony>. <laughs> <laughs> you forgive everything I do. That's what I like about you. Something's moving back there. <laughs> you said what? Are you calling me a, a scaredy cat? <laughs> <laughs> you go look for yourself, Miss Loudmouth. <laughs> yeah, you see. Oh, a time style. Oh, yeah. uh, one more thing. Before I shine a light into the darkness there, always keep yourself between me and the man-eating monsters. We don't want anything to happen to me, after all. Uh, you're the protagonist. <laughs> I can't believe how stupid those organons are. <laughs> and now, after the unparalleled success of <laughs> Look at me. We are pleased to be able to present you with the first exclusive preview of his new single. Here for your listening pleasure comes Cowboy. Come on. Look around. Oh no. Not the B side too. Wow. You just can't get your eyes up. You can't. You whisper, very you can dairy. Show is over. I'm a venue. Don't you ever have to blink? What are you, some kind of guppy? Why don't you just watch a bunny on my video with a puppy? Look, dumb ones, if you get it now, we've done enough already. I'll just stroll off somewhere else. And you stay here, not so steady, right? Oh, well, it's no better. What's the matter? I'm a bolding. Is a bogey? I might not say what the thing you are beholding. Man, you stare at me as if there was just rubbish on the telly. And I can't even blame you for I also have a belly full of living here. Where all you see is laughing full of litter. I hope I eat the pony here. I know it may sound bitter. But somewhere up Elysium is bound to be found. You just facing the wrong way, so turn around. Didn't we agree? Nothing here for you to see. Now good lost, never be found. Just look around. Got a stiff neck, maybe whip my swearing flick. has got your hip flash out. You're deaf, Greg. I found mine. Look around. Listen to the cowboy dodo. Cowboy dodo. Diggly da bop. Look around. Look around. 
Look around. Intruders! Alarm! Oh. oh. It's worse than I feared. <laughs> uh, I hope not. Uh, and if I am, then you must take after your mother. I'm Rufus. Please excuse my sister's lack of restraint. She's just glad that we finally found a grown-up. I'm Rusty, that's Gretchen, and our little brother is called Hansel. The soda straw is called Hansel? Sadis, <laughs> 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 I guess. Hansel, Gretchen, and Rusty. We've been stumbling around in the dark by ourselves for quite a while. Could you maybe help us? Of course I could, but I don't want to. Beat it. <laughs> that isn't the proper reaction. As a grown-up, you have a responsibility to help poor children in need. I've already got one ankle biter around my neck. Uh, you look like an old sure. woman. <laughs> oh. Hey, didn't I tell you not to come toddling after me? I am on a dangerous adventure. But we need your help. Yeah, and I told you, this is not for children. You could wind up in a plasma skirmish. Or be eaten right here on the spot by that witch. She looks very hungry. Well, I never. I won't stand for such insinuations. Mm -hmm. I do not eat children. Oh yeah? Then what are you doing here? I collect old bottles and sell them to the sewers in. <laughs> Excellent! I could really... Wait, uh -huh. you wouldn't happen to have found a container with a green liquid in it? Yes. And... I got the five zlotties for it. Fantastic! Wait, um, I told you I did she sell it? <laughs> Hello again, unfair lady. Ah, the young father is back. He is not a father. They aren't mine. They seem to think otherwise. Yeah, but I. I didn't sign up for this. Oh, I believe you. If you want some good advice, Mama Cosima's hand crochet Johnny's are extremely tear resistant. <laughs> Where's the exit? From the sewers, there isn't one. <laughs> Those who wind up down here are damned to remain here forever. Wow. Yeah. Forever! <laughs> you know, you're laying it on kind of thick for someone who isn't a witch. Sorry, never seen <laughs> the pill. I've had these strange mood swings. So you have five zlotties? Yes, all five. Huh? There isn't a lot of money here in the sewers. To be more precise, there are exactly five zlotties. And at the moment, they belong to me. Hmm. Sounds like a very manageable, stable currency system. <laughs> funds and speculation in the financial markets led to massive deficits in current accounts. What? Yeah, sure, I, I, I see. You wouldn't happen to be interested in some tasty little kids. Oh, and what a coincidence. They cost exactly five Zlotties. But, Mr. Rufus, you can't just sell us to a stranger. Hush now. Grown-ups are talking. Don't worry, boy. I have no intention of letting some random idiot palm a bunch of children up on me. I don't want to end up like my mother. Really? Where did you take the nucleic acid again? I sold it to the sewers in for the five slots. Okay. It says it's some kind of super fertilizer. But it was my super fertilizer. How was I supposed to know that? After all, decent fertilizer gets flushed into the sewers all the time. And it's rather unusual what? for people to come by later and lay claim to it. Okay. Will you lend me your five slotties? No. I want to keep them. Oh, come on. Don't be that way. I mean, what good is all the wealth if you don't share it with your friends? Very simple. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I'm making a monkey of myself so that you'll give me the fives lottie. Sounded more like a rusty water pipe to me. Does that mean I humiliated myself for absolutely nothing? No, don't worry. <laughs> Before you can humiliate yourself, you first have to attain a certain standard. Oh, snap! Mmm, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. Tasty little children. I already told you, I'm not interested in your brats. If I wanted to, I could have a whole grain silo full of the things. But I decided to pursue a career instead. <laughs> Why exactly do you need the five Zlotties? I'm keeping them. I love it when people make monkeys of themselves for me. <laughs> I've got to go. But why? We were just having fun and... Uh, wait a moment. Did the water here just get warmer? Like I said. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Ciao, in Italian. <laughs> wow. Yeah, holdy. You can't negotiate with people like that. They only know one language. Fisticuffian. Fisticuffian. Oi, mate. What, what? Are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to the pub. We've brats in tow. Were you dropped on your head or what? They aren't mine. Yeah, that's what my old man always said. And then he tied me and Macy up outside the pub. <laughs> And did it harm you? Well, I don't know about Macy. Her leash broke. Uh, what? Oh. Okay. I'll end this video here. I don't know how long it is, but I'll see you in the We'll see you in the next video. Ciao, 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 ciao. ciao.